Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I have what may be my last balanced lifestyle box. Now this is a box that I signed up for a year ago, so four boxes ago, and I decided that I would give it a full four boxes, a full four seasons to decide if I wanted to keep it here on the channel. I have reached out to them in the past to ask if they'd be willing to send me this box or any of their boxes. They had a home box, which is now part of the lifestyle box, or their discovery box or even their snack box but I never actually heard back from them which is totally fine I'm a very small fish in a very big unboxing world but for me so far even though I have liked a lot of the products and found that it's a great value I wish that a box of this size uh, and of this cost would have a little bit of customization to ensure that I really use and enjoy more of the products than I have I have found myself uh, re-gifting quite a few of them because I didn't have that ability to customize or make choices because some of the items I either already have or I would really like to pick my own brand or style for example but I do think it's a good value at $54.99 per quarter if you are able to do an annual subscription up front you save about $5 per box so it brings it under $200 I do have a link for you that will save you 15% on any of their boxes and um, I do appreciate that they have that ability to uh, refer friends and sort of earn free boxes but I've never gotten to that point to earn a free box to keep it here on the channel so like I said this will probably be the last one I had hoped to switch over to their home box their decor box but they uh, just recently announced that they are going to combine the lifestyle and home decor boxes together so let me know if you'd like to see any of the other boxes here on the channel but for me it's probably going to be a box that I go ahead and put on pause for a little while just to uh, spend my budget in other places you know we've got advent season coming up just around the corner so let me go ahead and open it up I will say that I have interacted with their customer service several times because one time an item came damaged, broken, and I needed a replacement. One time an item came completely uh, missing because the box had been damaged. They have been pretty responsive. I usually get an automated response first and then someone will actually reach out to me and they have sent me those two replacements. Sometimes it takes quite a bit of time. However, it's taken up to a month, I think. Now this time around, they have made a change where they're now doing a digital uh, product booklet instead of a printed one which I understand for cost reasons and also to save planet earth I usually still print them out for ease in my unboxings but they emailed everyone and they sent me the Canadian box which is very different in terms of the products inside I think there were only like three or four items that were the same in both boxes and I reached out to them I got that automated response and then I never actually heard back from them again with the proper link uh, to the US booklet I kind of had to search around myself and finally I found it so I was a little disappointed that they didn't just you know send me a quick link to that but that's okay I found it ahead of time so inside you can see they don't do much in the way of packing which is the case with many uh, subscription boxes of this size and style which I don't mind usually things come in decent shape although like I said there was that time where we got that really nice ceramic planter which was probably my favorite item in that whole box and it did come shattered they did send me a replacement but it wasn't the pattern that I wanted because uh, there was some variation and so that was an example of where I wish that there was some customization or that in the case of getting a replacement it actually sent me the same item and of course I had sent them a picture so they knew what pattern had come broken so that said let's go ahead and get into it this morning I actually saw some marketing from them that said that this box this summer box has 12 items in it I didn't notice that when I was printing out the information but um, that's pretty impressive again for $55 dollar box so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna go try to go in order because it makes it a little bit easier when we have that many products that's why I went ahead and pulled them all out of the box the first item is this uh, Lumen Nordic Sea brightening gel mask and they're out of Finland I thought it was a box of tea at first honestly <laughs> So it says, give an instant radiance boost for dull and tired skin. Lumen Nordic Sea Fresh Glow Brightening Gel Mask exfoliates the skin with gentle, natural AHA peeling acids from wild Arctic cloudberry vinegar to instantly re-energize the complexion. Wow, this is a pretty big size too and a really lovely color. Uh, I've had cloudberry jam before, but I've never put cloudberry on my face. Uh, so it says, the delightful texture is jam-packed with bright 
brightening, vitamin C rich, uh, wild Arctic cloudberry, skin conditioning, Nordic marigold petals, and hydrating pure Arctic spring water. Skin feels fresh with that natural glow from within look. The product is vegan, containing upcycled and wild crafted ingredients. Okay, wild crafted ingredients. The retail value on this is $29.99. So again, you can see you're getting your value very quickly with this box. Uh, it's not necessarily something that I would have like uh, sought out, but it's certainly something that I would love to receive in a subscription box and give a try. And then, of course, there are some coupon codes from that particular company, Lumen, and there's some cards in the bottom of the box, too, that I think are probably discount codes, too. So that's always kind of nice. The next item, let's see if I can find it, is a lip balm, I believe. So it's kind of spun around in there, but I'll just keep it in the packaging just in case I do wind up regifting this in one of my giveaways. It's the Eco Lips Lip Food Plump Organic Rosemary Mint Lip Balm. Wow, that was a a lot of words all together. Rosemary mint with chamomile mushroom extract, lip food invigorates and moisturizes for a smooth, full look. Globally sourced and minimally processed plant-based ingredients in this lip food balm provide the ultimate lip soothing and moisturizing experience. Organic golden jojoba oil combined with organic fair trade certified cocoa butter and coconut oil provide the perfect base, while chamomile mushroom extract provides uh, nutritive benefits to naturally plump, smooth, and moisturize the lips. And the retail value on this is just $3.79, so the pretty wide-ranging values on some of the items. So I'm always interested with, like, lip plumping items because, really, that comes from sort of irritating your lips, but it sounds like this is all very uh, natural, so maybe it's not, like, chemical irritation to plump up the lips. I, I have pretty small lips, but I'm, I never really feel like I need to, like, plump them up that much. I don't know. Uh, do you use a lip plumper? Uh, no judgment if you do, but if you did do, do you find that you found one that really works for you? I would love to know. So here's kind of the biggest item, and I do think the color of this is lovely, but this is one of those things where um, I have a lot of bags. I will admit that I love getting bags in subscription boxes, but I have so many that often, if I had the option to not choose that, I probably would have some self-control and not choose it, or I would um, also like the ability to uh, choose the color. So I'm not really sure how this works. I think it's a duffel. Oh yeah, it's a duffel with this like top strap here. So this is kind of cool. It says it's a mint green convertible bag. So it almost looks like a backpack, huh? The zipper's a little funky because uh, I just uh, like opened it up without using the actual zipper pull. So that's a little worrisome. It feels like pretty good quality though, but see how it has that like backpack look to it as well? It says summer outings are a breeze with this convertible mint green bag. It easily changes from a duffel bag, so this way, right, to a backpack and you can see the straps here on the back. So I'm trying to, there's a lot of straps going on here. It says to suit all your summer plans, featuring a storage space for shoes and a large main compartment, this bag keeps you organized and is spacious enough for everything you need and the retail value on this is $65. So I'm wondering what the washing is. So if you're using it as a duffel though, these like side pockets aren't going to be as helpful, right? So I think that this top part is for the shoes, this top component. And then here, it kind of seems to me like it's more designed as a backpack, like it's gonna be more useful upright like this. Inside, it almost looks like a cooler bag. It does have that zipper pocket, which is pretty nice. And then I'm trying to see, it looks like there's a lot of dividers in there. Interesting. There's a slip pocket in here. I think you guys can see that. And then there's just like a lot of material on the inside. Here is a strap so that you could use it as a duffel, but I think that a lot of the lining is just kind of folded around or I have to figure out, oh, this is where, this is that shoe compartment, you guys. So here on the bottom, this is the shoe compartment and that is the lining. So that is what I'm seeing kind of crushed down there at the bottom. So that's great though, if you have like hiking shoes or water shoes or even like, you know, slightly damp still swimsuits or something, that's a great space for that. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then this is a top separate section.
So that's actually a really cool design. I just have to figure out how the straps work so that you can go up and over with these straps because just doesn't that look like it's just got a lot going on. So I'm going to have to figure out how that goes. I get how you can clip on the shoulder strap, but I'm not sure about these. I guess these are just to go right along here so that you can actually put like a um, rolled up yoga mat or something along the side, but I'm not sure where the backpack straps are. Maybe this is also the backpack straps. Yeah, so I think you have to figure out how to make it work as a backpack as well because it seems like it should have another strap to do that. I'm not sure and I don't see another strap so I'll have to play around with that but it's a cool item it's just one that I wanted to pick it for myself but it feels like that kind of she like nice shine to it but I'm worried about cleaning it because it is that light color so the next thing is this sticks potato hand balm let's move on to this so this has a value of six dollars so we went from a $65 convertible bag to a six dollar hand balm the skin protecting sticks potato hand balm provides effective instant relief for damage skin on your hands. It soothes and regenerates skin with macadamia nut oil, shea butter, and freshly pressed potato juice. The recipe of Sticks Potato Hand Balm is eco-certified. Um, let's see. As a natural cosmetic product, vegan is produced carbon neutral in Obergrafendorf, Lower Austria. It says massage a small amount into your hands after washing. Rough and cracked skin is well cared for and moisturized. So, all right. The next thing is this Aramir Sandalwood Turmeric Ayurvedic Liquid Soap. And this is one th something that I have noticed with the Balanced uh, Lifestyle Boxes. We have kind of a lot of Ayurvedic products, a lot of natural products. That's something that I do really like about the subscription. For thousands of years throughout India, a simple paste of sandalwood and turmeric has been applied facially to attain a flawless complexion and to preserve the health and youth of one's skin. This timeless combination is further enhanced with neem and 10 premium Ayurvedic oils and extracts in a pure liquid soap that is deeply clean cleansing, yet gentle enough for delicate facial skin. The retail value on this is $12.50. I think it's kind of interesting when they just label things as Ayurvedic because it can be any ingredient. I guess they're just saying that at some point it has been noted to be used in an Ayurvedic practice. All right, so this is the Lash Changer. This is look like that. Catrice Lash Changer Volume Mascara has a value of just $7. A sensational fan effect, powerful volume, and perfectly separated lashes without any clumping. Its texture is deep black and easy to apply thanks to the tapered fiber brush. A true lash changer. Free from perfume, microplastic particles, silicones, and parabens. To give your lashes extra volume, use a lash curler before applying the mascara. This will curve your lashes nicely and prepare them for the mascara. So this is an example of like most people love to get a mascara because it just makes you look a little bit more awake, a little more put together. I usually have lash extensions so I don't usually use a mascara. So this is an item that normally if I had a choice between a couple of items maybe this is one that I would have skipped but it is one that I can definitely re-gift to someone else. So now it looks like we have some measuring cups and measuring spoon sets. So just doing a quick count, they are actually counting this as two items, the measuring cups and measuring spoon set, which is fine. So I kind of like this. It's like black plastic with a uh, rose gold accents. Um, honestly though, this is another thing that I probably wouldn't necessarily purchase uh, or select in a box if there was a customization because I already have so many sets of measuring cups and measuring spoons. Cook and bake in style with this super chic set of measuring cups and measuring spoons featuring a black cup and rose gold handle with four different size measuring cup options included. You can precisely measure ingredients for any recipe. Also included are four spoon sizes that neatly stack within each other. This black and rose gold set will be your new go-to utensil for all your cooking and baking needs. The retail value on this, you guys, they're saying is $35. That seems a little bit high in all honesty for this set, which again, they are counting as two items in here. Then we have this Oracacia Bath Soak that has a value of $7.99. Oracacia's aromatherapy mineral bath salts clarifies the senses, refreshes the body, and revitalizes the spirit. Oracacia's aromatherapy foam bath salts are crafted crafted with jojoba oil and gentle coconut-derived surf 
surfactants to leave the skin soft and silky smooth. Enjoy one of the following scents in your summer balanced lifestyle box. Tranquility, lavender, or patchouli and sweet orange. So again, there's some variation here. You just don't know what you're going to get. And of course, I feel like I always get lavender when lavender is one of the options. But I know a lot of people are very sensitive to fragrance. So this is another opportunity where they could have given us a little customization. And I think it would have been really, really appreciated. This is an item that I've gotten in several different boxes. So I am familiar with the brand Tropical Naturals. Uh, so this is their scalp treatment. It says this oil is formulated to help problematic scalp issues such as dandruff, oily or dryness of the skin, as well as help promote hair growth. It contains black cumin oil, which because of its anti-inflammatory balance, uh, benefits is able to soothe your scalp and help with flakiness and sensitivity. It's rich in nutrients like linoleic, oleic, palmitic, and steric acids that nourish the hair deeply and contribute to hair growth. This treatment contains organic ingredients and is vegan, cruelty-free, preservative-free, and zero synthetic. So the retail value on this is $36, and that is the price that I've seen on it before. Again, if you are someone who is vegan and likes a lot more natural products, this is a really good option. But still, a lot of us would like a little bit more in terms of customization. So we've got a couple more items. Now this to me, not that exciting. I did see in the Canadian box that they got this really cool like hydroponic like propagator and I thought that would have been like my favorite item. And then lo and behold, when I finally got my hands on the US copy, it was like instead we got this little stool. Like, so it's a little plant stand, I guess. You could put candle on it. It's pretty chunky, though. It's just rough. It's not finished. It's got the Made in China label on it. I don't, this is just not something that I would have personally picked out, although I like how plain it is. So this is a wooden decor riser. This wooden stand is a must-have piece that will take your decor to the next level, literally. Made of solid wood, the stand's round base and three legs add the perfect amount of height to lift your decor off the surface. Plus, the pale color of the wood allows for the featured decor placed on top to really pop no matter what room you use it in the retail value on this is $20 I just feel like I could find something very similar and maybe more in line with my home decor style um, for less money in all honesty so this is an example of something that would have maybe been in one of their past home boxes that has now made it into the lifestyle box and I personally I'm not thrilled with it. I might use it as a prop for some of my product photography, but right here they're showing it like on top of a stack of books and then with a candle and then some wood bead garland, which is just like, that just seems like a lot, right? So sometimes less is more, you guys. And then finally, we have from Ultima, Ultima Replenishers. I actually like these. This is a three-pack electrolyte mix sampler. Electrolytes without the sugar. It's super delicious and supports optimal hydration with electrolytes, trace minerals, vitamin C, and zinc. Dissolve one stick pack into 16 fluid ounces of water. Ultima supports Ultima supports hydration so you can feel and perform your best. Great for rehydrating and replenishing electrolytes lost from activity and sweat. Minerals such as magnesium, potassium, calcium, sodium, chloride, phosphorus all work in a delicate balance to keep your body hydrated. Ultima is sweetened with organic stevia leaf and made with real fruit flavor extracts that taste delicious. The retail value on this is $2.99. So I think that's the lowest valued item all the way up to our $65 bag. I think the bag is my favorite i'm just like very confused as to oh there's the backpack straps you guys so here we have this like pouch and then here are the backpack straps all right so i'm glad we found that that makes it seem pretty easy and then you can see that there are all of these straps right here so these middle ones maybe are supposed to go across the front. There's two little latches on either side. So that's for these ones so that you can secure something that's maybe taller in that side pocket. And they have it on both sides. But I'm not sure what this middle one is supposed to do necessarily unless you're trying to tie something this way. So you guys, if you know what the middle strap is supposed to do, I feel like it's a little insect with six, six legs hanging down on each side. But I'll have to play around with this. I'm glad that I, you probably were yelling at the screen and being like, I see the backpack straps, Noelle. They're right there. Um, so I think that you can go ahead and, oh, that's what it is. Maybe you go from the bottom. This is the strap that goes into your backpack strap right here. And then these, I think, go across. So you can do this cool, like, across situation. I don't know. I think it might go across, weirdly, because this one right here, you can see it has that little uh, corner, and that's definitely the one that is supposed to go for your backpack strap. 
So I'm not sure what this one now goes to because it doesn't go across to another latch. The latch is down at the bottom. Can you guys see that? Kind of crazy, right? Um, I'll have to play around with it or I'll have to look at pictures that they have of it in their marketing. I'll probably be able to figure it out, but I would like to be able to kind of get all of those straps to be more hidden if I am using it as a backpack. I'm sure there is a way to do it or if I'm using it as a duffel. That's still my favorite item probably. I'm not, not so excited about the other things like that. The Tropical Scout treatment is great, but you can see how I would be fine with this box actually having fewer items. If this was a collection of 12 items that I got to choose from, then I would still think it was a good value at $55, but maybe I would get to choose eight of the 12 items to make sure that they're ones that I really get to use or maybe in colors that I would really use or for skin conditions that I would uh, kind of jive more with my needs. But you guys let me know if you really want to see it still here on the channel. I can try to make room for it in my budget but if you have any other suggestions I would love to hear from you as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are a huge Balanced Company fan let me know that too. I would love to hear from you and see if I should give it a little bit longer. Otherwise I will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing.